Hi guys, how's it going? Today I thought I would make a video talking about uh, Williams and why I think they can be quite successful this year. Um, first of all, the obvious change that's gone on uh, for this year is that they've got Felipe Massa and uh, I think that brings a whole ton of positives to, to the team for this year. Uh, I mean, first of all, Massa is a skilled driver and we were even seeing uh, him doing quite well towards the end of last season where he was out qualifying Alonso and it seemed like he was kind of back from his sort of struggles that he'd had over the last few years uh, and so in Williams so far he's been reporting that he's been enjoying it and it seems like he's in a good place so I could see him doing quite well this year and also bringing a lot to the team in that he's just come from Ferrari so he's got a wealth of knowledge and you know, uh, professionalism, and, and he can just bring uh, a lot to the team. Um, and so I expect him to do quite well. And then also combined with Bottas, who is in no way slow, he's a skilled driver, and I think if he's given the right car, they're, they're, them two are a great combination to, to do well in the races. Um, so obviously you've got Massa. Next thing you have, of course, is that, uh, first of all, if Massa's there, that means Maldonado's gone. So first of all, you're not, they're not going to be throwing away so many points with silly crashes like Maldonado, but uh, I won't just rant about him. Um, the second reason that I think Williams are going to do well this year is that they've secured their financial future, which, uh, sadly, in the world of F1, a lot of it does come down to money. And... Uh, having secured your finances for the next few year means a, a ton to like a, a small team like that and um, it you know provides better resources hopefully a higher budget it means that the whole morale of the team is not to worry about security and all the worries that Lotus have gone gone through over the last year or so which as we've seen have been just absolutely like crippling um, and so th they won't have that and so it means that they can focus on you know the racing and less about you know survival and just focus their resources and they should be in a good position they look like they've got a really strong package right now um and of course it does i, I know uh the engine is not everything in formula one but um <coughs> the the mercedes engine is really impressive and uh we've seen how it's completely like just one up the uh the renault and done fantastically in the in the first test, and I can see that continuing uh, today in Bahrain. They're currently testing there. Um, so by having the superior engine, they've already they're already seeming to be ahead of uh, Lotus, uh, Red Bull, Toro Rosso, and Caterham. All of them are using Renault engines, and so for Williams, they've got the upper hand over those teams already, and so they can already be in a in a point scoring position, which is great. Um, and yeah, I mean, <laughs> it's not just a case of, you know, uh, uh, removing the competition even before the races have begun. I don't want to just shrug off those four teams, but uh, my point is that, is that they, they do seem to have uh, the upper hand at the moment. Uh, of course, every, anything can change during testing. I understand that it, it is testing. Lap times don't necessarily count. And of course, Renault could quite easily, not easily, but they could... It's it's totally possible for them to fix their issues, and you know Red Bull is notorious for bouncing back uh, from from unreliable cars and sorting out problems. So uh, I'm not writing off those teams, but I am saying that I I believe Williams has the upper hand, along with the other Mercedes teams as well. So uh, I will wrap up this video. Uh, in terms of next year, the goal, I think obviously for anyone in Formula One, the goal will always be to win the championship, but. Uh, in a realistic term, I would love to see Williams, first of all, scoring points. They're, they're going to be scoring points and they're going to be up there uh, and, and doing well there. I think the goal this year, let's just get some podiums. Let's <laughs> get podiums and I, th I think if they, they pull it off, if they stick to what they're doing now, they keep, keep working as hard as they are, I see Williams scoring podiums next, this year. So that's the goal and hopefully with podiums comes wins and from wins, you know, comes championships. But... Uh, I, I'm feeling really optis, optimistic about Williams. It's a team that I I will love to be supporting this year, along with uh, Mercedes and uh, McLaren. So, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope I'm uh, <laughs> hope I'm getting a little bit better at at making these. So, thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon. Bye.